I basically found an awesome tool that literally can compete with Midjourney and accessible worldwide. And you can go ahead right now and test it for yourself. All right, so here is the tool. It's called Leonardo AI. It just got a massive update and now it can compete with Blue Willow AI and Midjourney. This platform gives you a whole host of different features. Click the link in the description to access the tool. Then click on Get Early Access. Then enter your email right here and click on Count Me In. After that, click on Join Discord. So if you have an existing Discord account, you can join the server directly. And if you don't have a Discord account, create an account and then join the server. You will be prompted with this window right here asking you what you language do you speak. Select your language or you can skip this step. And please note that you only have joined Discord for the first time. After that, you can use the tool directly from your browser. What will you do with our AI? I'll select Create Art. Then it says that you have to acknowledge that Leonardo AI is a separate web application. Okay, let's select this. And this, then we are finished. After that, you will go to this tab right here and click on Form. Fill out your name and email. Then go back to the website and click on Launch App and select this option right here. All right, so here is the home page, as you can see. Here we are going to find the featured models that Leonardo AI has been trained with. As you can see, the UI is way better than other tools, and also it's much cleaner than Midjourney. So let's see some examples. All these images were generated by Leonardo AI, and they look pretty, pretty good. I really like this image. If we click on a certain image, we're gonna find all these details right here. For example, the prompt used to generate this image. The Kratos from God of War, Dark Arts, Bloodborne, Full Body Portrait. Also, we can see the negative prompt which is the things that the user wanted to exclude from his image. For example, bad light and fused fingers. Also, we can find the resolution of the image, the date it was created, the guidance scale, and the model used to generate this exact image. Here we are going to find the different models that Leonardo AI has been trained with. We have Leonardo Diffusion, RPG 4.0, Vintage Style Photography, Dream Shaper, Leonardo Creative, Pixel Art, Spirit Creatures, and the list goes on and on. To use any model, simply click on it and then click on Generate with this model. If you're scrolled down, you'll find example images created with this model. So let's go back and see the pricing plan. As I said before, the tool is free because the free plan gives you 150 generations per day. They also have a $10 per month plan, $24 per month, and $48 per month. Now, let's put this tool to the test. Let me select the Leonardo Diffusion model. Here as you can see, you type in your prompt. Let's say an astronaut with a goldfish bowl full of water for a head. Let's apply the Leonardo style to it. Here as you can see is the negative prompt. You can activate the prompt magic if you want the output to be a little bit accurate. Please note that activating this has twice the token cost. At the left side we're going to find the number of images. I'll select 4. Please note that the number of images will affect the number of token used. Also we're going to find the image dimensions, which control the details of our image. I'll keep it at 1024 by 1024. Here is the aspect ratio, so wide or square. Also, there is this cool thing called image to image. This feature will allow you to upload an image and use it as a prompt instead of typing in your prompt. Let's click on generate and see the results. Okay. It's done generating the four images. It's kind of not what I hoped for. I'm looking to get a similar image to this. Maybe I need to change my prompt for a little bit. Let's say a bowl full of water covering his head instead. All right, the results are better now as you can see. What I like about this tool is the fact that it keeps the same theme for all your images. They all have this blue cinematic appearance. If we click on a certain image, we are gonna find all these cool things that we can do at the bottom. We can remove the background. We can unzoom the image. It's like the outpaint feature in Lexica. Also, we can download the image. Let's change some things for a little bit. Let's say I want to generate a male human warrior character. Middle-aged, impressive wild and violent appearance. Very charismatic, very short brown hair, green eyes, ultra realistic. I'll remove this. And photorealistic. Let's change the module I'll select RPG 4.0, because it's the best when it comes to creating character portraits. Let's activate the prompt magic. Okay, it says here that it will use 8 tokens. Let's hit the generate button. 
I'm very excited to see how it will look like. All right, here is our images as you can see right here. I'll upscale this one. Here is the upscaled image. The quality is very good. And there's this cool feature that Leonardo AI offer, which is the remix tool. Let's say you were scrolling and exploring different AI arts. And you like this picture, for example, you will see this button right here. If we hover over it, it says this will copy the prompt and all generation settings over to the AI generation tool. So let's click on it. And as you can see, it's going to take you to the generating tab. Here it copied all the prompt and the negative prompt. Also the model used is the same. So if we click on generate, we're going to get images that are almost identical to the one that we used as a reference. All right, so here is our result. All four images look exactly like the original image. But I really like this one right here. It's pretty cool. Now this feature will blow your mind. If you go here to AI Canvas and grab an image and add it here. Let's change the size for a little bit. Now, if we copy the prompt used to generate this image, then place this square box like this and hit generate, it's going to expand the size of the image. And it will give you four different variations that you can choose from. And you can choose the one that merges well with your image. So, let's do the same for the rest of the image. And as you can see the image is expanded into a bigger picture. Also what we can do is change any object that we don't like. Simply select the brush tool then select the object. After that place the box on top of it and hit generate. And as you can see it gave me four pictures that can choose from. We can choose this. Or this. Or this. I will probably stick to the first one. If we zoom for a little bit, you will see that the picture has merged very well with our original image. Now if this feature didn't blow your mind, this will surely do. Did you know that you can merge two images together with this awesome tool? For example here is two different images. Let's say I want to join them together to make a seamless picture. Let me place it like this. Now let's remove some of this. Now if we place the box between the two pictures and hit generate. It's going to perfectly link them together as we can see right here. Let's choose the first one and click on accept. Now let's do the same for the rest. We need to change the dimension of the box for this one. All right, here it is guys. Our complete merged picture in full size. So guys, this is a very awesome tool and it's completely free. So I don't think why you shouldn't use it and experiment with it. If you like this type of content subscribe to the channel for more helpful videos just like this one. See you in the next one.